This is my daughter's closet in our upstairs hallway that she wanted to turn into a reading nook. And I wanted a temporary and budget-friendly solution for a wall covering. So as a compromise, we used this art paper that I found with the gift wrap rolls at Dollar Tree, but really any roll of gift wrap will work on this type of project. Start by taping off your wall with painter's tape. I just used scotch blue painter's tape. Tape all the way around the perimeter and then add horizontal stripes. Measure the width of your gift wrap roll to determine the spacing for the vertical tape lines. I was working in this really awkward space. It's like a closet in a dormer upstairs living area. The ceiling is slanted and there's also an access panel to work around and this added to the amount of tape lines that I needed to use. If you just did like a regular square or rectangular accent wall, yours wouldn't be as complicated as this. And then for added hold, place little pieces of painter's tape at various intervals on the wall. Here's what the wall looked like after I added all the tape. Now it's time to add double-sided tape on top of the painter's tape, and this way you're less likely to damage the paint on your walls. It's most important to tape all the way around the perimeter so that the edges of the paper don't peel back or fall down over time. Also, since this was her space, my daughter was my camera person for this video, so please pardon any shaky moments and the gratuitous video footage of our dog. Okay, back to work. The final step was to add the paper. Start at the top of your wall. Double and triple check to make sure the roll of paper is aligned, especially like vertically against your vertical seam of the wall, and then begin to smooth down. It can take a few tries to get going here, so don't be afraid to like lift the paper off the wall and try again. Eventually we'll all sort of click and you can smooth the paper all the way down. Here, since my walls were not totally square, like no walls are, I went back with a pen blade and I trimmed away a bit of excess paper at the top. You'll also wanna do the same thing at the bottom of your wall along the baseboard line. When I added the next strip of paper, I added just a tiny little strip here. I made sure to align the floral pattern to give it a more polished final look. And then on my third strip, I had to cut the paper around the access panel, but we didn't have time to film that. In all honesty, my daughter got bored and left me to finish this project on my own. But here's the finished look. When you account for waste involved in getting the seams to line up, we used about two and a half rolls of gift wrap paper, a roll of painter's tape, and a full roll of double-sided tape. That means you could easily make your own accent wall for under $15. My daughter is really happy with her new reading space and the bright colors that accent the wall mural in her bedroom. And I'm happy that I was able to satisfy the ever-changing design whims of my daughter without breaking the bank. I hope you enjoyed watching our quick DIY accent wall transformation. Until next time, happy making.